he's even great because he's a magician. <laughs> yeah, today we're going to learn about magic. But I don't know where Jason is. Do you know? <laughs> wow. Hello, Kai. How did you do that? I did it with magic. Wow. Hi. <laughs> I'm happy to see you again. Hi, Pally. Thanks so much for coming back to my house. Hi, Jason the Great. Hey, is your bookshelf still a door? It sure is. Only if you believe. Can I open the door this time? Yes. Do you remember the magic words we used? Hmm. Do you remember the magic word to open the bookshelf door? I think it might be... Oh, yeah! I remember! What is it? Abracazam! That's pretty close! Wait! That's not it! Hmm... I can't remember... Do you remember the magic word to open the door? Can we have a hint? Sure. It starts with an A and ends with Cadabra. Hmm. I remember. Do you want to say the magic word with me? Count to three with me. Ready? One, two, three. Abra Cadabra. Okay, Polly, I'll show you some magic tricks. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> And as you can see behind me, these are all books that I read. Wait, those are all magic books? Yes, every single one of them. Wow! Yeah. Show me a trick right now, please! Uh, would you like to see something for sure? Yeah, you want to see a magic trick? Okay. Alright, here's a really cool trick. You take a yellow silk, you place it into your empty hand, just like this. And then I take my magic coin. I wave it over my hand, say the magic word, sunny side up, and look, it turns into a little egg. Now when something disappears, it can't just disappear and not go anywhere. Look, I reach down to my hat, and there it is, just like that. Let me show you how this is done. You need a silk, a glass, a magic coin. The silk goes into the glass, you need a plastic egg, which has a hole in it, just like that. I got this around Easter time. All you do is drill a hole in the back and whatever you push in there, you can make it disappear, just like that. So what I do is I go like this, I hide it, just like this. I take the silk, place it into my hand, they think, but I'm actually pushing into the hole. Make sure you leave your fingers closed, or if you spread them like this, they might see the white of the egg. So I keep pushing it in there just like this. I reach down into the hat. It doesn't do anything, it just kind of kills time. I take the magic coin, wave it over the egg, or I'm sorry, I wave it over my hand, and I say the magic word, sunny side up, and it turns into an egg. Then I pull the extra silk out, just like this. So you got it? It's really cool, really simple, easy to do. So don't forget, you need your coin, and you need the silk, and you need the egg. Now you ask yourself, why do you need the glass? Well, the glass is really, really important because sometimes you forget about the hole in the back and you show the egg this way. If that does happen, all you have to do is pull the hole right off of the egg, and then you can crack it right into the glass just like that 
Sunny side up. Jason the Great, I have a question about magic. What is it, Polly? <laughs> um, um, when can I start to do magic tricks? You can start at any age. Ooh. I started when I was 10 years old. Wow, you've been doing magic for a long time then, huh? I haven't been doing it as long as Alexander the Wizard. He's been doing it for a hundred years. He must have been super magical. He was really magical. Hey, should I ask Beaks to show Jason the Great, his great, great grandpa again? What's Beaks? <laughs> Beaks, well, Beaks is like my magic wand. What? Yeah, he's my antenna. And whenever I ask Beaks a question, he will show me or tell me the answer. Oh yeah, that's like your magic wand. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, good job, you're right. Do you want to go see Alexander Wizard again for more magic tricks? Yeah? Okay, are you ready? Yes. Hey Beaks, show us Jason the Great's great great grandpa doing magic, please. Hello everyone. I am the greatest Alexander Wizard. And today I'm going to perform a magic trick that defies gravity. With the wave of my magic wand, and combined with the magic wand, I will defy the gravity. Abracadabra! Whoa, you see? I am floating! I am floating higher and higher! <laughs> what a magic trick! Delight! Whoa. That magic trick always takes a lot out of me. I must go now. I bid you farewell and goodbye. Come again another time. I wish I knew all the secrets to magic tricks. Would you like <laughs> to learn some tricks you can do at home? Yeah. Well, I know someone that can teach you some easy tricks. Oh. He lives in Kentucky. Wow. Huh? Who is it? His name is Evan Aaron. And I oh. Beaks can take you there to see him. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Let's ask Beaks. Hey, Beaks, take us to Evan Era TV, please. And today I'm here with my magic friend, Evan Era TV. Yeah, he knows all about magic. And we're going to learn about magic right now. Are you ready? Hey kids, I'm Evan Era from How To Magic. I want to show you a cool magic trick with my magic top hat. So all I need are some magic words. Can you think of a magic word? What about abracadabra? Say it along with me. Abracadabra. And if I reach inside my magic top hat, there's actually a magic bunny. Oh, he's trying to climb up my shirt. I'm gonna show Piley the secrets to doing this trick next. So the secret to the rabbit coming out of the hat trick is that this is actually not a real rabbit. It's just a pretend rabbit. He's kind of like a stuffed animal. Wait, wait, what? He looks real. That's a real rabbit, I see it. I can smell it. <laughs> he smells like a real, and he moves like a real rabbit too. He does, he kind of kicks like a real rabbit, but he's actually not real. He's a fake rabbit. What? Yeah, he's kind of like a stuffed animal. See? Oh yeah, that's not, wait, that's a pretend rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that rabbit is a really good pretend rabbit. You could be a real rabbit if you wanted to, rabbit. That's magic, using your imagination, right? Absolutely. Magic is all about being creative and using your imagination. Okay, Piley, so this is a really cool magic trick, and it's actually with my magic coloring book. If you flip it open like this, you can see all the coloring pages. Yeah, right there. Right there. I'm gonna color all those pages. You, so, want, you wanna color with me? <laughs> you can hey. see all the pages aren't colored in yet, right? Yeah, they need to be colored. Hey, Evan, mm -hmm. my favorite color is blue. Really? Yeah. Well, if you watch the coloring pages of the coloring book, all I have to do is snap my fingers, and then when we flip through the page again, you can see 
they automatically color in just like that. How do you do that? Wait a minute, I thought the... Whoa. All the pages... But who colored it, Evan? <laughs> you did, with your magic powers. Oh, magical! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that makes me excited! So Isn't that cool? Wow! But it's not over yet. We can actually take the magic coloring book and if we just wave our hand... Uh -huh, like this? Watch. Yeah, wave your hand. Perfect. You can see all the pages turn blank. It's gone! Oh no! Did I mess it up? No, you did the magic. You did a great job. But, but the pages are gone. I'm watch, like, watch, I want watch. them back. You can make them come back by just waving your hand. You guys bring the pages back, okay? Wave your hand over the coloring book. Okay, you're going to wave your hand over the coloring book with me, okay? Wave it. Ready? Ready? Here we go. You waving it? Here we go. I think it worked. Let's see. Yep, there it goes. That came back. It's back! <laughs> okay, Piley, I have a really cool trick to show you with my magic wand. <laughs> magic wand? Wow! Why is it magical? Oh, I'll show you. So, I have the magic wand here, and I also have a little flower pot. Yeah, I see that right there. So watch, we're gonna take the little flower pot, and we're gonna put the magic wand down in the flower pot just like this. Okay. Now watch. <laughs> On the count of three, you're gonna see this happen. You ready? You ready to count to three with me? Here we go. One, One two, two, three. three. Whoa! The magic wand turns into a magic flower. Wow, did you see that? There's a flower in that magic wand. Hey, the bees would love this trick. <laughs> I have a really cool trick to show you with this little red ball. Wow, that's a red ball. It is. It kind of looks like a clown nose, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, does it go honk honk? <laughs> it doesn't honk, but it does something really cool. If okay. I hold my hand just like this and I kind of rub the circle and the little ball, it kind of turns into a magic square. How did you do that? Wow, did you see that? Now watch, we're going to try something else. Put it in my hand like this and I kind of hold it. Watch, you can kind of see this happen. Wait, that's not a square. What, what is it? What? It's a dog! <laughs> hey, puppy! Aww, he's so cute! Hey, hey, dog! You're a red dog! You're red! <laughs> I'm blue! Blue's my favorite color! Okay, here is the secret of performing the magic red ball trick. If you turn it inside out, it just turns into a cube. Now the next step of the trick is to make the cube turn into the dog. The dog is going to start out scrunched up in your hand just like that. You're going to take the cube into your other hand just like this and make it look like you put it into this hand. This is actually the dog. And that is how you do the magic red ball to the dog trick. I had a great time too, Piley. It was really fun. <laughs> yeah, and I hope you liked it too. Did you like the magic tricks? Do we want to do more magic? Yeah, me too. Hey, I tell you what, I'm working on something new. Yeah? Would you like to see it? A new magic trick? Yes. All right, Piley, let me show you one more trick. I have a magic fist. Whatever I push in there, I can actually make it change colors. Look, if I push the white in this side, it comes out this side red. You see, I keep pushing it in there like this, and it keeps coming out red. White turning into red, just like this. Now, a lot of times people think I use two silks. No, I just use one. Just one silk, Pally.
we see him again. All right, good job. Okay, I'm gonna go now. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Do you know how to spell my name?